So once we have our patient on the bed, we have to make sure that they're in the correct position. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feel for a couple of bones to make sure that John's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to adjust his position slightly to make sure that everything aligns. Then I'm going to set up to my marks. That's that little tattoo that we give during our simulation. And this is all coming from the top of the treatment machine here. So then I just raise the bed up to the plan height, which I can check as well. We have a little light here that gives a reading on the skin. So while someone's lying on the treatment machine, we can extend these arms out and take an extra picture to make sure that the patient is in exactly the same position that they were when we did the planning so that we know that we're treating the right area. So you set someone up, um, get, make sure they're nice and comfortable. And sometimes if someone's got a symptomatic bone metastasis, we need to make sure they've got some pain relief from the board and they're coming in for treatment. Because yeah. it, it's not the most comfortable of beds, as you can see. Um, and then after they've been set up in the right area, we use these arms here to take an x-ray to confirm that we're in the right position. Yeah, which is what we're doing now. So if John couldn't lie on his tummy, we would get him to lay on his back in this instance and have the treatment for the So the patient never moves during the treatment, we always move the machine. So we have many options, the machine can move around them or we can also move the couch. So we can swing the angle, or I'll go away from your camera, as well. So we can always put the patient in the spot that we would like them to be in and make sure that that's stable and then we can move our equipment around. Just one setup. So this is just for a very simple spine setup. However, uh, the back bags that you have behind you um, are used for a different kind of setup, and that's just another uh, piece of equipment that we have to make sure the patient is stable and comfortable during their treatment. So you can see where the patient's head goes up the top here, and these are supporting their arms, which are up above their head. And that's the breast and lung patients. We use this yeah. They start out like a song. They're actually quite comfortable. With yeah, because they're molded and supported to the each individual patient. Yeah, it's like what's um, it's like when I got one made on me because we do it for practice yeah, on each other. Have, uh -huh. You know when you're at the beach and you dig yourself into the yeah, sand. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's like exactly like what it feels like. Group. And it kind yeah. of just supports you, and it's firm, but it's mm. not uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah, I just feel got to get it done. Yeah. yeah. That, it's more comfortable than the bed. Yeah. The bed is just yeah. And they're only on the bed for maximum 20 minutes, so yeah. but they will definitely do it yeah. on top of it. Yeah, it's definitely doable. So everything is um, like all of our different setups are locked onto the bed. So we've got like little notches you can see on here, and then there's all the different equipment that. Yeah, yeah. So everything's locked on. So we've got exact um, positions that we get worked out from the CT session. Yeah, yeah. And for each patient that we do, we try and make it as comfortable as we can for them.